All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to Mind and Body Fitness. I'm gonna walk you through what to expect in this app. It may or may not look like this, um, but if it does, if you don't have a nutrition goal, don't worry, you can still sync my fitness pal up with this app and it will show your logged meals here. This first thing here, right underneath the nutrition is the workout, which we'll get into that in a minute. And the three at the bottom here are some of our goals that we assign uh, to members in the community or clients to help them stay on track and to reach their personal goals. Everybody loves a good checklist, right? Okay, then there's an explanation for what this is. I got a message from a client the other day. She's like, what, what is mastering my morning? Well, if you look underneath where it says complete, there's two little bubbles. That first one is shaded in. That's the first page, which lets you know there is another page. And I give you some examples for how to master your morning. Okay. Um, prioritize proteins. Again, that just means simply going out of your way to plan your meals around your protein. And it comes with a Google Drive cheat sheet as well for you to check out if you wanted to see what that looked like. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, back to the show. Where were we? Okay. Next. You can go to the next day by at the top here where it says things to do and then underneath that is the date and then to the right are arrows and that's how you go to the next day or that's how you go back if you missed your day. If you missed a day, you can also go to the bottom of the screen. This is an iPhone, so if you have an Android, it might look a little different. But the second icon is a calendar. And so if you missed a workout, you can always go back and look. Um, let's say you don't want to work out on Tuesday, this upper body day that I've assigned myself. I can drag it down to Wednesday. I can drag it down to whatever. Um, this is at your discretion, how you want to do your workouts. The order that they're programmed in there is simply how I would do them and how I would like them done. But everybody's life is different. Okay, down here we got steps. This is synced to my watch. I did not have my watch on yesterday, so I didn't get that many steps, but either way, here it is. I don't have a watch, I don't have anything set up to track my sleep, but if I did, it would appear here. This caloric burn is not nearly as important. I don't want you to focus on this too much, but again, it's gonna come from your watch if you're using one. And body weight, this body weight and body fat, photos, calorie intake, we're gonna pay attention to the ones that I want you to pay attention to. So first up, if you're just joining, you want to get your measurements and your pictures done. If you don't do this right away, I honestly just don't see the point in why you would sign up for a program if you don't plan on measuring progress. You cannot fix what you don't face and you cannot heal what you don't deal with. So the longer you put this off, the less likely and less motivated you're going to be to take action. So you can hit the body weight icon and then hit the word add at the top and hit the date that you're entering the information, hit select at the top right screen, and then hit body weight, and then enter the pounds, okay? While you're in here, if you have your measuring tape, you can also go ahead and start filling in your measurements. Don't forget to go to the right side. I'm just throwing in random numbers, guys. Get out of my face. Actually, I will put in what I just... Oh my gosh, you guys are getting on my nerves. Not you guys, me. I am it. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Haven't weighed myself in a minute. It's okay. Body fat percentage, I wouldn't worry about. You really don't need to unless that is something that is super important to you. You can order a body fat scale on Amazon like I did. Or um, you can go to bodyfatcalculator.com and enter your age, weight, height, um, neck, waist, and hip measurement. It'll prompt you on how to do all that and you can find your body fat percentage if it's that important to you. Okay, so that was under the body weight icon. Body fat icon is literally the same place because they're all drop downs. So whether you're in this one or not, you can still access your body measurements. So just to review, I hit body fat and there was a drop down where I could go to body measurements. When I go to body weight, there's a drop down where I can hit my body fat and also measurements. It's the most common question, how do I add my um, measurements? Next is photos. I see people do some very interesting things with their photos, which you don't need to do. So the app works perfectly well. At the top right hand corner, there is a picture. It tells you face forward. Then you hit take now. So if I was doing this, I would go, I would set the timer on the screen for what, three seconds? The heck is going on here? Oh, I flipped the camera. Okay, three seconds and go. Boom, okay? It's gonna ask me, 
Do I like this? Um, cancel. Skip this pose. Let's say I wanted to take the side one. The reason why I want to do this is because one thing that I notice is that people take their pictures and their measurements um, and different clothes, different lightings, different settings, different angles. If you start with your left side, I need you to take the left side every time. And also, you need to take off your clothes when you do these measurements because if you lost inches on your stomach, how the hell would you be able to see it under this shirt, okay? Just being real. All right, so that's how you take the pictures. And they automatically upload so that you can, so that you can compare them. I love this feature because once you turn the phone to the side like this, you're able to swipe and easily compare what's going on, okay? You do yourself a disservice when you do not take these pictures, okay? The scale does not tell the whole story. That's why you wanna have measurements, you wanna have pictures, you wanna have as much data as you can. Okay, down here at the bottom is just where the app is gonna keep track of the numbers that you hit when you enter your workouts, which leads me to the workout. So I recommend that you actually read these instructions here because I do give some um, instructions for what to do, like, hey, if you have this machine, you don't have to do both, etc. So there's usually a warm up to watch, um, depending on how long you've been with us or what level you're at or what program you're at, it may or may not have a, a warm up at this at the top is a 10 minute upper body warm up. I would watch the video before I get to the gym because sometimes people's signal doesn't work or just kind of get a good idea for what you're gonna be doing, right? The seated dumbbell shoulder press. You're this gonna grab your weights and you wanna really try to pick a challenging way. weight but nothing crazy. I always use my knees to help me get them up and then when you start, you're gonna push them all the way up to the top and as you come down to about... Okay, cool, 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 nothing serious here. But you have to hit start now. A lot of people don't hit start now. It's weird, okay? Right here it says, for that exercise, do three sets of eight with an RPE of eight. It doesn't look like I explained what an RPE is here because this is an old workout. But an RPE, there'll probably be a worksheet there um, within this to like a handout that you'll either get DM'd or mailed that will explain what RPE is. I'm not gonna take too much time to do that today. Let me see, okay. Perfect. So here's an exercise where you see right here to the side, like let's say it says 10 to 12 reps. So let's say I did 10 reps and let's say I did 80 pounds this week. Wow, that's more than I did last week when it was 70 or here. Let's say I finally made it up to 12 and I got 80. Wow, not only did I do two more reps than last week, but I did 20 pounds more. This is how you're able to track your progress and see how strong you're actually getting. A lot of people don't do this. They don't take it as seriously. They think it's nerve wracking. To that, I will say this. If you don't track your finances, you won't be able to save. If you don't track things in your adult life, you won't be able to make progress. Why, oh why, sis, do you avoid tracking your progress here? Ask yourself, why is it triggering? Instead of just accepting that it triggers you to track it or that it's stressful. There's a lot of things in your adult life that are stressful that are necessary. So so I love you, but get over it. Okay, so at the top, and then also there's a rest button. So it says rest for two minutes. That timer at the top started the two minutes for me. Yay. Okay, and I hit stop. But there's also a timer up there if you want to use your own timer. Okay, that was from right there. This thing is if you want to leave notes for yourself. See, I left some notes for myself. I didn't hit six to eight. I did six, eight, three, and two. This workout sucks. My knees hate this. Aw. <laughs> That's so fun. I love myself. Okay. Um, and then here is comments that you want me to read. Okay. And then this is edit this workout. You can edit your workouts by hitting the three dots on the exercise. So right across from the word dumbbell seated shoulder press, there's three little dots. I'm going to hit those and um, you'll be able to substitute workouts. Yep, hit the substitute button. And so instead of, maybe you don't wanna see dumbbell seated shoulder press, maybe you just want, I don't know, something else, dumbbell shoulder press. I know it's the same thing, don't come for me. Um, you know, then you'll be able to see different options here for you. If you don't see mine there, I don't know if you guys have the option at the bottom where it says add custom exercise. Um, you can also just do what you're gonna do in place of it and just keep a mental note or write a note. Again, if you are on the DIY workouts, um, the, the note will be kind of a mental note for yourself. And then don't forget when you're, yeah, that was a long workout. I hated everyone back then. Um, don't forget to hit save 
and then rate how easy it was. If you or how hard, if every workout is around here, then sweetheart, that means that you are not pushing yourself. You're either not bracing your core throughout your workout. You're not tensing your whole body. You're not establishing a mind to muscle connection. There's something wrong if your workouts are always easy because these workouts are not easy. So keep that in mind. Um, and then you can, you know, um, hit done and then it will uh, let me know. It, well, first, it's going to congratulate you on doing your workout. And then um, if you are working with us, then it's going to let us know how easy or how hard your workouts actually are. Okay. Other things that I want to show you in here. Sometimes your workouts are scheduled, right? Like this one, it's scheduled for Tuesday, but sometimes myself or technology or coach Des or something doesn't go right where your workouts don't get scheduled. No problem. Check this kettlebell here. And when you do, you'll be able to see your program. And even though the, all of the days aren't um, logged in, you'll be able to see day one, day two, day three, day four, and you can just select them from here, okay? Next, here's the goals here that we have for you. So that little target thing is. And if there's a meal plan or something here, it'll be under the fork and knife thing. I wanna show you this blue plus sign because this is a shortcut to literally everything. If you wanna um, do a workout, you can grab one or you can build your own workout right? If you want to go do some random cardio, there you go. If you want to log a meal, only try and get, get on my face. Um, appointment, I don't, we don't use this yet. We don't use this yet. <laughs> um, photos, body stats, boom. And then the last thing that may be helpful for you guys is over here, I think it's where you connect your Apple Watch, your Garmin, or whatever uh, thing that you're using. So, this was your, oh, and then down here, I don't have the option to see it because I'm logged in as myself, but there's usually a little uh, little floating head, which is the message from your trainers. We have three coaches that are here right now currently, my, actually four, myself, uh, Coach Gabby, who is our nutritionist, uh, Coach Des and myself are also certified nutritionists as well. Um, we, and we also have Coach Tish, who is our support and accountability coach, and Coach Des, who is our head PT, head personal trainer. So please be sure to check if you see a little floating head with one of ours on there um, and a notification sign, tap it. I believe it's at the top. It's like a drop down, um, and then you'll be able to message all of us. Hope this was helpful. And now you know how to use the app. So now you have no excuses for I don't know how to navigate this thing unless you decided you didn't want to watch the video. Okay, love you. Bye.